Hello, I'm Michael Wan, Global Manager for the New Zealand Red Meat Story. I'm excited to share with you the direction Beef and Lamb New Zealand and the red meat sector are taking with our New Zealand origin brand and story. I'll explain the approach we've taken, what we've learned along the way, and talk about our plans for implementing our brand. Our guiding philosophy throughout the development process is that success will only be achieved by embracing a collective industry approach. This has to be about a sector working together for greater industry good. And I'm pleased to say we've already gained the full support and commitment of the meat companies for the brand and its implementation. And we're now working closely with them to develop the detailed implementation plan. We also now want you to join us and help take it to the market. We've designed our origin brand to complement all producer brands, both existing and new. The analogy I use is that of the Earth's core. At the base layers are the universal truths applicable to all of us. These are a unique place and the approach we take to farming that leads to a natural taste experience. These are the core pillars of our origin brand story. Beyond those base layers are the competitive layers which enable producers to focus in on their own unique and differentiated value proposition and identities. Throughout the development process, we've been driven by customer and consumer insights. What's most important for our value proposition are their value drivers, motivations, and needs to buy premium red meat. From early stage testing of our origin story ideas through to final testing and validation, we've listened and incorporated those insights into our brand development. We've also learned from global exemplars such as Origin Green, the Norwegian Seafood Council, and Meat and Livestock Australia. New Zealand exports red meat to more than 120 countries, so to help our brand development process, we chose to focus on these seven international markets as well as New Zealand. These countries represent a broad cross-section of existing trade from a value and volume perspective. Those that represent a percentage of missed opportunity for New Zealand imports, as well as emerging and growing markets such as India and Indonesia. Two teams of three conducted extensive qualitative and quantitative research in all eight countries. More than 85 sessions were conducted, including multiple consumer focus groups in multiple cities in each country. One-on-one -on -one interviews with importers, distributors and retailers, as well as food service professionals such as chefs, restaurateurs and butchers. We spent time in meat retailing environments like supermarkets to understand product availability, context, culture, as well as packaging. And we accompanied real consumers to understand how they navigated and made decisions around what to buy. What we found was there is increasing demand for premium red meat. In developed markets, health conscious consumers are choosing to consume red meat less frequently, but when they do, they're seeking better quality premium red meat. Our consumers are modal, which means that they're seeking different food experiences depending on their need state, such as convenience during the week or indulgence on the weekend. Irrespective of the need state, they're seeking premium quality, which means New Zealand red meat has wide reach and appeal. Beef development will be a challenge and re will require focus. There are a lot of global competitors in the beef category and achieving a point of difference will require focus and commitment from our sector. Lamb has strong potential for value and demand growth as a category. Consumers are interested in trying new cuisines that deliver to their health needs as well as their taste expectations for something different. Our competitors are well established and they're winning. They're investing significantly in market development throughout the supply chain and not just in consumer promotion. And New Zealand is getting left behind. The winners are the likes of Meat and Livestock Australia and their True Aussie brand who consistently rank the highest in terms of a premium offering. We also found that consumers are increasingly concerned and anxious about the authenticity of their food, where and how their food is produced, as well as the welfare of the animals. What they describe to us is wanting a connection to real, natural food produced as nature intended by caring people. Ultimately though, consumers make decisions based on taste and the eating experience must consistently meet the consumer's expectations in this area. Origin plays an incredibly important role as a primary navigation tool for consumers and retailers in the pathway to purchase. It acts as a shortcut to understanding and trust. Origin provides enhanced levels of assurance beyond that of the retail brand and acts as a platform for producer brands to leverage. 
Once a consumer has chosen a retail brand, such as Whole Foods in the US, almost always the next question is, where does my food come from? The role of Origin answers this. The key point is that a producer brand sits and is considered within the context of the country or place it is from. So what do people perceive when they think of New Zealand? Well, in general, New Zealand's image overall is positive, thanks to our tourism industry and Lord of the Rings. However, when it comes to red meat, our image is weak, with little knowledge or awareness of our production systems or our approach to farming. To sum it up, we know New Zealand is what organic looks like to consumers. We never use the word organic. Consumers use the description as a shortcut to natural. To others, our everyday, what often seems mundane, is simply profound. And we know that consumers desire animals to be raised gently by caring people, leading to them having a happier, healthier life. We also know that people are willing to pay for the natural, exotic flavour experiences this care delivers. And so we arrived at our core brand idea, Taste Pure Nature, an invitation to experience the most natural flavour experiences New Zealand Red Meat offers. The New Zealand in the logo device acts as an open window to our unique place and approach to farming, creating absolute transparency. We've tested and validated Taste Pure Nature and our brand story with consumers and food service professionals, and we've developed it into a global brand platform to enhance the positioning of New Zealand beef and lamb. The platform provides a marketing umbrella to underpin New Zealand exporter brand building activities and forms part of a long-term strategy to grow value for New Zealand beef and lamb supply chains by differentiating New Zealand beef and lamb from our international competitors. Ultimately, success will largely be determined by how we activate the brand in the marketplace. We developed a high-level go-to-market strategy in consultation with meat companies to drive the promotion of our origin brand internationally. This includes the identification of target markets, customers and consumers, channels, objectives, as well as marketing initiatives, budget, scheme rules, and expected benefits from participating. We used a framework developed by McKinsey to evaluate potential markets, taking into account overall market attractiveness and the ability to have an impact in that market. Now, the go-to-market strategy proposes we focus on two to three key markets initially that we monitor and measure results and build these into strategies to expand over time. In parallel, we're working with KPMG to understand how we can optimise and grow value from new or existing pathways to market for New Zealand sheep and beef. This work has fed into the development of the go-to-market strategy. We'll be investing in in-market promotion of our relevant and unique brand story to grow awareness, establish New Zealand's culinary credibility, and build a platform for meat companies to leverage their own brand. This includes creating advocacy among chefs and food influencers, and leveraging this brand equity to expand the footprint and spread the brand through retail partnerships. We'll be regularly tracking the performance of our investment across a range of measures to ensure we're getting it right. The Taste Pure Nature trademark and associated brand is owned by Beef and Lamb New Zealand, and will be licensed to meat companies to use. They must be part of the New Zealand Farm Assurance Program or have an ISO IEC 17065 accredited Farm Assurance Program, which is independently audited. In return, they'll gain access to the Taste Pure Nature trademark for use on their packaging and promotional material, as well as all brand assets, promotional and educational material created by Beef and Lamb New Zealand. We've gained the support and commitment of the meat companies for the brand and its implementation. We now want you to join us and help drive greater, sustainable returns for all of our industry.